I'm delighted to be joined by Fiona Fox. How are you, Fiona? Hey, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good. Um, Fiona, you have an interesting story. You're here in Colin Bowes right now at the minute. You're yeah. from Kilmacow in County Kilkenny, but you're just waiting on your visa to go back to America. You yeah. work for Michael Dickinson. Yeah, I do. I work for Michael Dickinson in, at Tapita Farm in northeast Maryland on the East Coast. Um, I went over there in April 2018, and when the opportunity came up to go over, I was kind of like, you know, I felt like there was no reason not to. I was just going to be for a few months, and I thought, you know, a bit of a different experience over there, and obviously working for such a successful trainer, and um, good weather as well, so um, it went really well. And after, I just started riding over there straight away, and then... You've had a few rides on the flat? Yeah, I have, yeah, yeah. My thought she gave me my first... Um, ride at Fair Hill at Fair Hill Races in May last year. And one of his horses told me to just spin it around and give it a confidence booster. And then he won next time out, so um, it went really well. It was nice to um, to get going on one of his. Um, and then I had a couple of rides after that, mostly at Laurel. Um, and then I had one more for him at the Pennsylvania Hunt Cup in November at the end of last year. So that was really good. But your plan is uh, right away when you go back, but you're you're yeah, you're looking to, to train now, though. Yeah, yeah. My main goal is to train definitely. Um, I still want to ride in a couple of races just for the experience and like for you know the fun of it and everything. But I would like to train. Um, when I was at Michaels, I kind of got like as the months went on, I got like a bit more and more involved in the race planning and stuff like that. And he kind of like made it my job to um, pick out the races and stuff. And I got like addicted to it, and I get a real kick out of like if I kind of chose the race and we won and like I just kind of made me realize I was really interested in training so I would like definitely like to train. And are you learning something different here? You're here in Colin Bowles as I mentioned already he's the leading point-to-point -point trainer for yeah. a good few years now. Yeah no I love coming down here. Colin's very good he kind of lets me come in on a casual basis like I explained the story to him I'm just here to kind of keep fit and waiting for my visa to renew. Um, so yeah it's really cool to obviously like the flat or, or the, yeah the flat horses are trained a lot differently than the jumpers and he lets me have a pop up the strip as well so that's really cool um yeah, and is your plan then to you, your uncle is jimmy fox who trains in the yeah. uk so you've learned a, li a lot from jimmy you can learn a bit here yeah. but the plan is to train in the united states then yeah i uh, spent the summer with my uncle and like anytime i'd go over and visit i'd ride out for him um he's a great horseman so um he was a great jockey in his day as well so i've learned loads from him and i kind of caught the bug there really um, but yeah, I would like to, I would love to be in Ireland, but um, just for like a financial point of view, I feel like it would be easier for me to set up in America with the amount of like claiming races there is and... Um, and the way you can get a barn at the track yeah, for people that don't know, you, you start out trainers like, train at the yeah, tracks, exactly, majority yeah, of them. We don't train at the track, um, the Tapita Farm is um, a private facility, but um, I would like to train yeah, um, over there just to get myself started. Um, and maybe eventually come back here, but it's quite competitive here, you know, to start out anyway. It is. And any issues getting your visa? Everything's all right? No, everything's fine. They've done it on their side, so they're just waiting for approval and then I'll apply. And, uh, and how long will that give you over back in um, the US? The one then? I'm getting this year is a 10 month one. So um, obviously, if this year goes well, I'd like to apply for a five year one next. And do you enjoy the flat over the jump or? Either or. Um, Obviously, the jump really... racing is completely different in the United States than it is. Yeah, here. yeah, it is very different. It's not. Um, you would have to kind of travel far to to go to all the meets, but um, I do. It's different over there, and there's actually quite a nice community. There's quite a lot of Irish and English there, so you know you feel like welcome straight away. Um, but yeah, no, I do. I, like I've definitely learned a lot over there. It's, it was quite like eye opening. Um, mm. The way they train and stuff. Obviously, there's a lot of time to work. I think that's helped with um, becoming a better judge of pace. So. Um, yeah, no, I'm really enjoying it. Good. Well, from I can say from my own experience, I am very surprised that more people, more younger people your age, don't go to America because it's a great way of living. Yeah. You do learn a lot, and yeah. it's good money over there compared to it's a lot. To, and and obviously the weather, yeah, yeah, as well. So, um, well, best of luck with it. Yeah, I'm sure thank you'll you learn much. plenty from Michael. Yeah, oh um, gosh, yeah. You couldn't ask He's for very, no, him and his for wife, a better um, mentor than Michael. Yeah, him and his wife Joan have been really good to me. To be fair, like they've treated me like family since I've been over there. So. Um, Michael likes to take people under his wing and teach them, you know, he'd, he'd love for them to be um, more knowledgeable leaving him, so he's a good. good person to be under, definitely. Well, best of luck with it. Yeah, Enjoy you your, your, your trip back home for the moment, and uh, best yeah. of luck when you go back to America. Yeah. Thank you very much.